Well, hello there all, RetroRob here, and welcome to RetroRob Plays Everything. Today I've got something a little different for you. No, it's not a game system, and it is not a retro game remade. Uh-uh. Today we're taking a look at a mic from Manau. It's the PD100X, and uh, they asked me, hey, will you do an unboxing on it? And I said, of course, it's got LED lights on it. I'm a sucker for that. But uh, I looked them up and come to find out they are pretty positively reviewed. So hopefully uh, this is going to be really cool, but you're going to get to judge it for yourself because, of course, I'll be doing some recording tests with it uh, so you can get an idea of what it sounds like. But uh, we're going to do this like we always do. We're going to start with the front of the box. Manau, global best-selling internet microphone. USB XLR dynamic microphone PD100X. It's got mono link, which I think might be for their mixing boards, uh, and RGB. Feel free to correct me right there on what what's going on there. I don't know. Maybe we'll get lucky and I'll research it later, but 50% chance I'll forget. Portable stand included. Not sure whether it will mount to my swing arm like my current one. USB-C and XLR connectivity. XLR is for mixing boards and uh, and old like you know good old fashioned audio equipment. That's actually nice because my current mic doesn't do that, so I can't use it if I want to use like say a mixing board with it. I'd have to use a software one. Anyway, two in one digital knob, programmable RGB and a touch mute button, which of course is useful if you want to swear uncontrollably during your live stream and can't. All right, let's take a look at the back of the box. The Manal PD100X USB XLR dynamic microphone was developed with gamers, streamers, and content creators in mind, making it the first of its kind. It boasts a modern design with vibrant RGB lighting that adds a striking visual element. PD100X also has exceptional acoustic characteristics similar to traditional broadcast dynamic microphones. What the heck? This is like in perfect English. Oh man, what have I been reviewing all my life? Anyway, the dual connectivity setup enables effortless integration with PC Mac systems via USB as well as seamless compatibility with audio interfaces and other audio devices through XLR connectivity. To further enhance its capabilities, Manau Link was created. Here we go, it's gonna answer our question. Providing advanced audio processing and custom EQs via a custom onboard DSP. Together, these innovations elevate the audio experience to new heights. Features dynamic capsule, mic gain and headphone volume control, built-in wind foam, which is nice, Powered by Manau Link. Cardoid polar pattern, meaning when you point it at you, it is listening to you as opposed to the whole room. Touch mute button, useful, programmable RGB lights. And it's compatible with PC, smartphones, and game consoles. Pretty awesome. Let's take a look at what's inside the box. If I can figure it out. Maybe. Psst. I have a problem with boxes. All right, first we've got a manual. And I'm gonna guess, yeah, it's in several different languages. It's a Mac OS setting guide. I wonder how modern that is. But that's okay, these are pretty easy to connect, generally speaking. It, of course, mentions Windows as well. All right. USB to US, well, USB uh, A to USB C cable. The cable itself is quite thick and rubbery. I like it. It's got the adapter too, if you wanna go USB C to USB C. Uh, that is definitely a plus. It does feel very nice. Huh. Was that about a? I am a. Uh, I'm gonna guess it's about a five footer. Measured it. The cable is eight feet long. That's pretty darn long. 
I mean, I'll measure it later. We shall see. Got a weighted base. It is not light. I guess there's probably middle. Middle? There's metal in it. Obviously, speaking is not one of my strong points today. Oh, yeah. See, it's got an arm on it. Oh, this is going to be... Yeah, you can just hang this off of the... Oh. All right. Here it is. This, uh, this comes off. It feels pretty decent. Uh, the bottom's plastic, obviously, because you're going to need to see through it uh, for the LED. Uh, this arm is metal. It is not plastic. And again, I believe I can just adapt. Yeah, it looks like it looks like it won't even need an adapter. Uh, it'll go right on to my current arm, which is going to be nice because I like to hang mine upside down, kind of like this. Or actually, I like to hang mine like this, but. I'd like to hang it upside down. Yep. Again, talking. Should be better at it with all the talking I do in these videos. What else do we got? Anything in here? No. That is what is in there. Hold on a second. Let me set this up. All right. One quick complaint about the placement of this cable. If you are using this stand, if you uh, put the cable in front, you're going to bang into the frame. Same thing in the back, honestly. I mean, it's still going to bang into the uh, the frame a bit if you adjust it. So if you've got it on a base like this, you want to make sure ahead of time that you have things planned out. Otherwise, you got to unplug it, swing it past, and then plug it back in. And there it is in all of its LED Glory, don't worry, I'm going to show you a couple more LED modes on here real quick after I show you the basics. All right, look it up here. That's the mic mute. It indicates at the bottom whether it's muted or not. Thank you. I appreciate that. That's actually really nice. Um, the other thing is there's a volume control right here, and it nicely indicates the volume level. It both controls the headset, which you can plug in at the bottom as a pass-through, and the mic itself. So you can hit this button, and it'll switch between mic mode and headphone mode. On the bottom, we've got the XLR plug, the USB-C plug, headphone pass-through. Guess what this is? This changes the color modes. And uh, let's, uh, let's see if I can hit that. Oh, I got to do it like this. There we go. Okay, sorry about that. And we'll just flip through a few of these. There's off. Look at that one. Huh? Huh? Yeah, it's pretty cool. I might actually start using this mic that sounds good. Pretty nice. I like this glowing green too. Sorry, I got into it and I was actually uh, not talking into this mic. Mistakes were made. So there we go. Really, I really like the color effects. Those are really, really cool. All right, let's test out how it works as a mic. A couple years ago, a podcast was doing a special on Frogger, and I wrote a little segment for him and read it. So I'm going to read the first paragraph of it to you as a test for this mic, and we'll see how it sounds. I would like to begin this recording with a warning. What you're about to hear is long, rambling, and pretty darned unfocused. For this, I'm going to make no apologies. If by chance this recording gets used for the purpose of weakening the resolve of enemy combatants, then I do apologize. For this use directly violates the Geneva Conventions, and you are about to be really abused. My advice to you is to immediately cough up the plans, turn over the captives, or defuse the bomb. Do whatever you can to escape the terror you are soon to face. Unless, of course, you want to know what the best version of Frogger is. In that case you might just have a chance.
And there we go. And that's it for this, the Maunau PD100X. What do you think? I think it sounds pretty good, honestly. Uh, it had a really good kind of a, uh, what's, what's the word? It has a good mature sound to it, which uh, generally these end up in the super tony <laughs> part of things, but it was right down the middle. Didn't go too bass, didn't go too tone for me. I really like it. Um, I'm going to note that right now I'm using a sound gate, which I generally use when I'm recording. Uh, when I did the test, I was not using the sound gate. Uh, so if the sound is a little bit different right now, it's because it's being processed right now uh, with an OBS software. Uh, anyway, this is a pretty new mic. I'll put a link to it when they have it available for purchase, but uh, nothing there yet. Anyway. Uh, construction quality is nice. It's got a good use of metal here. They didn't have to do that with this bracket, but they sure did. Uh, I love the general look of it. Looks really nice. Uh, like the uh, like the foam padding on the top. Huh? Nice. Uh, also love the lighting effects. Easy to use since it's got a button on the bottom. Had an adequately long cable that came with it and the quality of that was good as well all in all I, i've just got no complaints uh, curious to see what the price will be anyway uh once it's there i will put it down below i want to thank you very much for watching this if you found it useful please do me a big favor give me a thumbs up subscribe for more and i'll see you in a couple days bye